Hello everyone, uh, where to begin? I'm going to keep this short. This video is about the recent deaths of Osama bin Laden and who really deserves credit for it? Does President Obama deserve the credit for finishing in two years the job that President Bush couldn't accomplish in seven years? Does President Bush deserve the credit for starting the job that Obama merely helped to finish? The answer is neither. Neither one deserves the credit. The real credit goes out to the troops. The real credit goes out to all the Navy SEALs, the ones that actually went out and finished the job. The real credit also goes out to the thousands in the military who have sacrificed their lives since 9-11 to protect and serve our country. And the thousands more serving our country now, abroad, and especially in the Middle East. The thousands more who are still out there risking our lives for us. Tell me, uh, has Obama ever put on a uniform and put his own life at risk on the front lines? Has, did President Bush ever do the same thing? And no, putting on a fighter pilot suit and going on a jet, flying it for 10 minutes and then declaring mission accomplished in Iraq doesn't count. And it is, it's downright hypocritical for us to mock Bush for doing this and then turn around and praise Obama for killing bin Laden when the only thing he ever did was to give the order to do so. When the soldiers were the ones who really did the job. Our military, our soldiers, our men and women who actually put on a uniform deserve all the credit. They deserve our thanks and praise. Thank them for putting an end to a 10 year nightmare and giving closure to us and to the victims and, the fa of, and their families of 9-11. Thank them. That's all I gotta say about that. Thanks for watching. God bless the troops. God bless America and everywhere else. And stay safe. Peace out.